Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday. Happy Friday to you guys and happy promo day on FIFA Ultimate Team. Another Friday, another promo. I mean, that's what we got used to at the end of the year last year in FIFA 19 and uh, FIFA 20 this year. They've been doing a lot of uh, promos as well. So nice little squad update that we get to download right now before we head into foot. But I want to show you guys the loading screen because Team of the Group Stage is today. Team of the Group Stage is happening today. There's a lot of stuff that we could see happen on the market today. So I want to get you guys ready and talk about a lot of things that happened on the market today. And they're going to happen uh, on Friday as well. And even into Saturday, we'll talk about kind of this next day of FIFA, what I do expect. Obviously, we don't have the content in front of us, so I can't look at you and say, this is exactly what we're going to get. Um, first of all, I've got nine packs saved up, basically my rewards. I open them late anyway, since I'm in, um, I'm in the NA and I get home after work. And uh, so I can basically wait like, 15 or 16 hours and then I can open those rewards with a new set of cards in packs. This is what EA tweeted out today to tell us that we are getting a team of the group stage promotion. They tweeted this graphic. This is basically the loading screen with a timer on here that tells us it starts at 6 p.m. UK. It is team of the tournament group stage. So last year we had team of the group stage and team of the knockout stage. They call them team of the tournament, team of the tournament for the uh, Champions League and the Europa League with what they run the group stage. And they were in the knockout stage. So they gave us little uh, five little hints here of cards that are going to be in. A striker that is French, an Argentinian right wing, a Belgium cam, a South Korean left mid, and a, and a uh, English left wing. And obviously you can start looking below this tweet. You can probably see a lot of people that are uh, Benzema, Messi, KDB, Mertens, Sonaldo, and Sterling. So that's kind of the guess. Uh, people are saying Benzema over Mbappe. Obviously, you think Messi for this one. This one, there's a couple options. You think of Sun for this, and you think of Sterling for this one. So regardless, it looks like these are going to be some pretty good cards. Last year, we had really, really great player selection for this promo. The upgrades weren't that great on the cards, um, but the player, player selection was really solid. This is the team from last year. Uh, obviously, we had a position change Neymar. There was Griezmann. There was Lewandowski, Messi, Bale, Dybala on the bench. Like Dybala didn't even make the main team. So there was a lot of big names in last year's squad, and there was a lot of market movements because of that. In yesterday's video, I talked about the panic selling that happened when the loading screen came out with the cards on it. Obviously, we don't we didn't have a ton of panic today. We had a little bit, but not too much. So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the possibility for some more panic on Friday before the promo today. And when I say today, right now, I'm referring to Thursday, the day before Friday. Um, but on Friday, we're, I'm looking forward to seeing some more panic throughout the day in the you know the hours leading up to the promotion. So other things that we got today on the game that I want to point out to you and talk about the market movements that happened on Thursday was this SBC. I think I've actually completed it. It was, a, it was an SBC for a 35K pack. This midweek fixtures SBC was basically a pack supply SBC. 35K pack is actually really solid. And you saw that today on the market that it actually dropped we're going to look at the index gold here in a second. And I want to show you, um, I want to show you really quick the, um, the index gold for the day. Obviously, when we get these pack supply SBCs like this, it's a lot of packs being opened and a lot of cards come onto the market. So you see things like this happen. The gold market was at 55 points after rewards. It takes a really nice drop down to 51 points. And it's kind of risen back up since then a little bit. A lot of the stuff that got low was the SBC fodders. I mean, the 83s are back down to about uh, 1.8K. 84s are under 4K. 85s are at 7 to 8. Some of these were actually lower after the SBC came out right away. 86s were at like 14K. They're now at 16. Um, I saw some 89s at like 37K. They're now 41. So people are still doing the icon upgrade SBCs because they have coins, man. And that's what I'm saying. This SBC being out for so long, people have coins. They're going to complete it and they're going to continue to do it. But these cards are probably going to get low this weekend because we're going to have a lot of packs on the game because this promo team um, that is going to be in packs, you know that when they run packs and when they run promos in the game, they're going to have packs in the store. Right now, we don't have any promo packs, but I would expect to have promo packs all through the weekend and lightning rounds as well. You're like, bro, they just did lightning rounds for Black Friday. They're going to do lightning rounds again. They saw how much money they made on Black Friday. They're going to try to replicate that. Probably going to be, again, a pretty juiced team. It's going to be in packs. So I do expect lightning rounds, um, 50K, 100K, 125K, the usual set of three lightning rounds 
to come on Friday, Saturday, and possibly Sunday as well. So I do think we'll get a couple days of lightning rounds for this promo. But these cards are going to be rare. Um, and earlier this evening, we did get the pack design. It was tweeted out by Footwatch, who has access to the code. This is going to be the, the, the card design for the Champions League items. It's a little bit different than last year. It kind of is like a mix-up between last year's Team of the Group Stage card, uh, which you can see right here. It's kind of a mix-up between that card and then also last year's Man of the Match card, which the Man of the Match card had like the stadium in the background, and this one does as well. So it's kind of a mix-up of that really good-looking card design, I think. So I'm pumped about this one. The Europa League card design, though, I am not a fan of this one, and here's why. This is blatant and very um, sneaky. It's not sneaky or blatant, actually. It, it's, it's blatant. It's right here in front of us. It's easy to see. This is EA trying to confuse people with last year's cards. I want to show you guys something. This might look familiar. This card design might look familiar to you. Let's go look at last year, FIFA 19. Let's look at the UCL Live Europa League cards. Yeah, this, this uh, card design is going to get real familiar really quick. Do you remember these cards from last year? This is the exact same card design that we are getting for a non-live card this year. Team of the Group Stage cards are not live. And we are getting this card design, which last year was used on a live item. This is literally the exact same card design on the live Parasitch from last year. And these are going to be Team of the Group Stage cards this year, not live. I am not a fan of that because people are probably going to mix up some of these cards from last year's design and have it maybe ingrained in their minds like, yo, that's a live card. And it's going to make people think that some of these are actually live items. Now, I know the live items this year for Champions League cards are, or for Europa League cards are very different. They're like all yellow and stuff. But still, I, I just don't like that it's the same exact card design. Like EA, mix it up a little bit. Change it up. Maybe have some fun with it. Throw a different design around. Uh, but yeah, I just don't enjoy how that car design is um, exactly like the live item from last year. It just seems like it was a, a thing from EA to try to trick people on the game. So as we we're talking about what kind of content could we get today? Again, I mentioned lighting rounds. We're going to get pack supply. We're going to get a ton of cards open up on the market. That does make me think that it could be a good time this weekend to possibly stack up on some of those high-rated cards. We're going to get SBCs during this promo. Last year, we got Laporte, Insigne, and um, somebody else. Somebody, Not Laporte. Yeah, we got Laporte, Insigne, and Tony Cruz. And the Tony Cruz SBC was very cheap, and it was very good value. And we just got rid of all the Black Friday squads and SBCs that were in here right now. So the SBC section is going to fill up again this weekend. We're probably going to get a couple SBCs. Uh, today on Friday with the start of the promo, probably a pack supply SBC. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we got something that kind of requires UCL blue cards because I've been doing this around the UCL promos, uh, requiring something with those cards. And then maybe even a player SBC first day. That is very, very possible. But I do expect to get a couple player SBCs. Maybe they're going to continue with the player moments cards. Maybe they won't. But I would expect to have a couple of the team of the group stage cards available via SBC. So again, when a lot of packs are opened, you guys probably want to know what are some good things that you can do tomorrow during these lightning rounds and during the day tomorrow to possibly make some coins. The first thing I want to look at is Road to the Final cards. And you're like, yo, why are you talking about Road to the Finals? What is going to make these cards move in price? There's going to be some people on this game that still think Team of the Group Stage cards are live, and they still think that, these, that they are live, basically, and that they think they're going to get upgraded. Last year, this happened, and it was it was actually an incredible way to make some coins on some panic selling. Last year, if you remember the Europa League um, Socrates card, it came out, and that crashed the price of uh, Road to the Final, UCL Live, Davinson Sanchez. He went down 50K, 50K, because it was basically a supplementary good for that Davinson Sanchez, another center back in the Prem. There weren't that many special cards, center backs from the Prem. Socrates was a good card. So basically when we see the team come out tomorrow and in the morning when you see panic selling, watch especially for these road to the final cards because these cards are getting upgraded next week. There's going to be a lot of hype around these cards next week with Champions League games and Europa League games going on. So I really want you guys to watch and look for panic selling in this area of the market right here on a lot of these cards. They're very inflated in price already. They're very high up. But I think it's going to be a great opportunity to pick up on some panic. If you see some cards getting undercut, 
Like Allen, I mean, if you see him like 390, 380K, I definitely would think that he would rise back to around 420 or to 415 at least. I mean, Militao at 700K would be a buy in my opinion. Sancho under 200, I think is very possible. Mares could go down a little bit. It also depends on who we get in these squads, you know? Maybe a left wing uh, Sterling card makes this Mane drop. You see this Mane drop like 200,000 coins? That's a massive buy in my opinion. Could go easily right back up to 1516 where he has been because Liverpool is going on. So this card is getting a guaranteed upgrade. Uh, if we get a Sun left wing card, that will be like Sun's third special card in this game. He's got a road to the final. He's got an inform that he got last week. And now he's going to possibly get a team in the group stage based on that EA tweet today. That will be something you could look at for some panic selling as well. But just be careful. Cards that have a lot of special cards and a lot of versions like Mara's already. I'm a little bit skeptical on those just because it takes, you know, there's a lot other special cards out there on the market competing for people's attention. So look for some panic selling, not on just Road to the Finals, but on Scream cards and on past Team of the Week informs. You have to remember that this market is very, very rich still. We're just after the, the Black Friday promo. People still have tons of coins. Um, and they're very willing to spend and splash the cash on players like uh, like these informs they're putting in their teams. Nelson Semedo, 145k. If you see this, maybe drop like 10,000 coins tomorrow. Like he's not getting any supply, so people are going to be panic selling in the morning. I do think might not be a crazy panic sell because we don't know the team yet. I would wait for around 6 p.m. UK to look for the panic sell, and we should have some similar movements like we had last week with Black Friday. Panic selling right away for like the first hour or hour and a half or two. And then you will start to see people buy their teams back and a lot of stuff will rise into the nighttime um, that people will be buying up and using for their weekend league teams. Um, now talking about the new cards, especially the new team of the group stage cards, they're going to be very, very expensive. Um, because first day, last year, these cards, if you remember correctly, these, these cards that came out, the new team of the, team of the group stage items, were very, very rare. These cards were very rare, almost like impossible to pack. And there were not many of them on the market. Um, and we'll talk about what we can do possibly late night with some of the new team of the group stage cards. But those cards first day were very, very expensive. I would not touch them unless you pack them. And if you pack one, I would sell it uh, first day as soon as you can, in my opinion. I really would. Unless it's like after mid, after like midnight uk time then i would maybe wait you might be able to sell it saturday morning but we really have to judge the rarity on these cards if ea messes up the drop weight and the pack weight and these cards are flying on the market like crazy and they get really low because people have saved up weekly rewards they've saved up other packs this week to open packs for this promo because we kind of knew it was coming right you might see the cards come into packs low it's always just kind of depending on how much um, supply ea brings out for these cards right away so that's the number one thing to kind of look at and to kind of determine. And we'll be watching that very, very closely tomorrow. Um, I'll try to be pretty active on Twitter as I won't be on my console, I'll be at work. But I'll try to get, let you guys know how I see with these cards, what they kind of look like. And hopefully get some info to you guys as soon as I can on these cards. So that's uh, what I think about those. Other things you can do tomorrow, of course, watch out for the panic. But if you're somebody who's got a lot of coins, the Icon 59th Minute is a fantastic place to be with uh, with a lot of coins, uh, especially on the basic filter during these promos and during these lightning rounds because people pack Icons in this game. They don't know how much they're actually worth. You might see some people pack up, list up some Icons at a very, very cheap price range, which you can uh, then flip and make some coins on. And again, since we are going to have a lot of people buying up cards into the nighttime as people buy their weekend league teams up, um, it is a possibility to get some deals on some icons, especially some fresh ones, big time deals on some fresh ones as people are opening packs and a, as a lot of packs are opened uh, on the game. So yeah, that's what I have to say about that. Uh, if they tweet the promo team out early, a lot of people might go rash invest in the gold cards. That's something that a lot of people like to do in this game is they like to go rash invest when they see who's going to be going out of packs. They think, hey, if I buy this card, he's going to go up in price. Sometimes that does happen. Sometimes though, it's really just not worth it because people have already invested that card because especially like a Sun or a Sterling or some of the guys that are, you know, could have been leaked from that EA tweet. A lot of those cards are already up in price already. So investing in the gold cards, I don't really know if that's a shout or not, uh, but you're going to see a ton of market movements tomorrow and there's going to be a lot of way to make coins because this market is rich. This market has a lot of coins and um, people are playing weekend league. Now, obviously, 
A lot of people don't play weekend league for that long. Uh, a lot of people stop at 14 wins these days, which is the sad truth. But just the way that the game is, you do see some people stopping early. Um, and that's why if you're doing a lot of flipping and stuff, if you're buying some cards in the panic tomorrow, if you're buying icons that get low, make sure that you get those suckers out of your club, get them relisted, get them sold by midday on Saturday. Uh, Saturday morning is like the optimal time. Saturday midday UK time when everybody's on the game, but it's not 6 p.m. yet because people are playing foot champs, people are building their teams, they're grinding the games. Saturday mornings and Saturdays earlier in the day is when everybody's grinding. Even if you're stopping at 14, you're probably still playing at that point unless you played all day Friday. Um, but there's still a lot of people. Most people on the game are playing at that point. And uh, that's why the cards are really high then. Last thing I want to talk about, I mentioned the rarity of these Team of the Group Stage cards already and how you could possibly trade with them and make some coins. Last year, I mentioned this in yesterday's video as well, the Griezmann card fluctuated a ton. The Socrates card fluctuated a ton. Basically, if you look at this team, you can kind of tell who fluctuated a ton because the cards were position change. They were fitting into people's teams like a plug and play situation or they were just Premier League cards and they were good positions and it brought a new special card to the game where there maybe wasn't a special card before, like a center back in the Prem. We have Oda Mendy, we have a new Inform VVD, and it's like those are the only, we have a, a couple SBC cards for center backs in the Prem. Road to the final, um, Joe Gomez as well, but that's not a card that's available on the market. So if we get a center back from the Prem tomorrow, that would be something to keep an eye on. Maybe like an Alderweireld or a Vertonghen. Don't know if it's possible or if they've been playing well, but we'll see who EA puts in. Um, that would be sort of a card that you might see flippable as it gets low Friday night as everybody's packed in, but the pack weight is low and the price just kind of drops down and then it rises up into the morning Saturday as people wake up in the UK and want to try these cards out. Last year, this Griezmann was at 500k flat on Xbox. It rose to 680k. 680k in literally a six hour period. It went from 500 to 680. As people woke up and they wanted to try out that card, this was a position change card, a Griezmann special card, cool dynamic image, and it fits right into a lot of people's teams. La Liga, French, striker. Very easy to put into a lot of teams. Uh, Rakitic rose as well. He's He was obviously, or he is obviously on Barcelona. Very easy card to link. And then Socrates and Loftus Cheek rose as well. English, Premier League, Premier League position with not a lot of informs or special cards. So watch the cards that come out tomorrow. I will be looking with you guys on stream tomorrow night, twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant. I'll be live during that buying time frame. If I think the cards are going to be buyable, we're definitely going to go in and try to find some deals on stuff like that because there should be some deals. But again, today, this morning, when you're watching this video, get your mind right. Think about what kind of cards you want to look at. If there is some panic selling, look on the market and see what kind of cards are getting panic sold. Scroll through these team of the weeks and think about what cards people use in their teams. If you see people selling them for whatever reason, could be an opportunity to pick up on the panic. Of course, just be careful because you might go and buy yourself this left wing Mane card. It's getting panic sold. It's down 100K. But then they release that left wing Sterling and a left wing Sun. Two more special cards are the left wings in the Prem that might cause more panic selling on this card when the actual promo starts, depending on the price of those two cards when they come out and people wanting to try a new version of a card in game. So the most you might see the most panic selling around 6 p.m. UK. That could be my guess. It all depends on when they release the team. If they release the team early um, and at like 3 p.m. UK, like they do with Team of the Weeks, that would also be a great time to pick up on panic selling because a lot of times when stuff like that happens, stuff gets panic sold because people think it's going to be affordable, right? People sell their 1.5 million card coin money card because they think they're going to go be able to pick up that Sterling for around the same price. But when Sterling comes out for the first hour or something, he's like crazy high. I mean, that's maybe not a good example because hopefully Sterling isn't above 1.5 million first hour. Um, but still, um, People might not be able to, to buy that card with the funds that they sold their money for, or the card isn't what they expected. It's not much of an upgrade. So they buy the money right back and his card price goes scooting right back up. So again, I showed you a lot of road to the final cards, but you can definitely, definitely look at scream cards. Um, a lot of these scream cards are just getting rare and they keep rising. And it's crazy, man, because um, these cards are so rare in the game. And that's why I'm so pumped to see that's a deal and a half right there. We'll take that Hamas Rodriguez for 270. 
Should be able to sell that at 300 tomorrow night. I'm going to list them up right now for just under 300 for a nice little bit of a uh, little profit right there, man. We will take that. But stuff like that is basically what you want to be looking out for on the market uh, today on FIFA because stuff like that's going to happen. People are going to list 10K under and provide for you basically a deal right there. The next cheapest is 284, man. Crazy. That was a really, really nice deal on James. I'm glad I checked him at that time. Things like that happen all the time when you're checking the market late at night. So again, check the market for deals like that today. Good luck if you're opening packs. And uh, of course, it's a promo Friday. So we'll probably get some SBCs, probably get some pack supply and stuff like that. One last thing that you could do if you wanted to, I mentioned stocking up on some of the, the fodder cards. If you think they're going to put out SBCs, which is very possible, maybe you look at some 83s as well. Um, or not 83s, excuse me. I was just mentioning those. Maybe you look at some of these UCL cards, right? Maybe you do a little bit of a club stock close to discard value as you can, or maybe for some of these like 80 rated or 81 rated UCL rares, maybe do like a club stock of those if you can. They're going to get packed a lot tomorrow, but if they're required for SBCs, they might jump up in price a little bit as well. And you could see those cards required throughout the rest of the week for other SBCs. Should be a fun day. Team of the tournament group stage promo today on Friday. It's a Friday on foot. Should be a fun one. Good luck in your weekend league guys as well. And have fun with the promo tomorrow. I should be active, should be on on Twitter, especially on the streams as well. And I'll talk to you guys in a video on Saturday um, about the stuff that went on and if we made some coins and talking about stuff like that. So we'll do a little bit of a, a promo update the day after. Uh, or like the morning after the promo actually starts as well. So you can expect that on Saturday. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. And if you're hyped for Team of the Group Stage, hit the sub button as well. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support you've shown me on this channel. Honestly, been insane. Uh, just the fact that you guys like watching my videos um, it means a ton. So I appreciate you guys showing up for the videos, clicking the like, clicking the sub, and commenting down below. I really appreciate talking to you guys down there. So if you do have any questions or comments, please put them down below. And I will catch you guys in a video soon. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.